Okay, rocket heater first start up to see how it goes. Now I've just connected it with a couple of garden hoses to the fish tank. So we've got one outlet up the top, one outlet down the bottom. The idea is the cold water gets drawn down the bottom, into the rocket heater, heat rises back up and into the fish tank. So what we'll do from here is we'll do a few measurements before we go of temperature. So temperature in the fish tank at the moment is 11.3 centigrade or Fahrenheit is 52.1. Okay. Temperature coming out of the heater at the moment, it should be nothing. Alright, put it in there. Top one. So put that in the top, top one. one. Okay. So just from just from that sitting in the sun, we have a little bit of heat coming through. So that's warm, which means there's a little bit of heat coming through that end of the tank without the fire even going. We've gone from that 11 up to 13.2 or 55.2. Fifty-nine, so it's still rising. That just sitting in the sun like that. So what we're going to do now is, so it's still going up, which means it's getting enough heat just sitting like that in the sun, without the fire under it, um, coming into the tank. All right, let's start this fire up and see what we get. So. Remembering that the bottom one here, that one is your firebox. This one up here is your wood heater. So all we do is we put one of these fire blocks in there. Light her up. Push it in. Pushing it into about there, which is just sitting over those holes. And then we set the wood on top. Like that. So that's got that going. Then what we do, we just pile that wood in. See up the top here that that's starting to burn quite good. Now what we do is we put some of these bigger blocks in to get us started like that. Another one in there. Okay, so there we go. So I'll let that start up and I'll go and get my temperature gauge and then we can see how quick this fire starts up. Okay, these are going. Temperature. Right here. Is starting to rise. So let's say eighty seven. Temperature here is thirty nine at the moment. 
Okay. Let's give that a few minutes to start working. And we'll see how we go from there. Temperature slowly. 13.9 at the moment. So we'll come back when... We'll get a half an hour and we'll come back and we'll check it. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes we're going here. I've chopped up some small red gum to feed down into the chamber. So it's feeding down into the chamber slowly. Um, temperature at the firebox at the moment is where are we okay temperature at the firebox at the moment is three let's say three eighty so about three eighty temperature in the heat exchange at the moment is still building one hundred so that's about one hundred in the heat exchanger um, pipe going into the let's see pipe going in is I'm going to hold it on there say 39 39 pipe coming out is Okay, water coming out of the heat exchange is about 33, we'll call it 33. Water coming in is... around 28. At the moment, it's about 28. Okay. Water coming out of the pipe at the moment is 26.8 centigrade or 78.4 Fahrenheit. Let's see if we can get a temperature on water coming out of there. Or just about there. So water coming out of there is 34 34 we'll call it. Coming out of where the heat pipe comes out. So that's that's pretty good. That's half an hour and we're getting up to where we can start heating the tank. So I've just put this back into the tank. Remember the tank was 11.4 around there somewhere. So we'll wait for that to go down and see what it's like. But um, this is just a test, this pipe inlet pipe is pretty warm that one there will be stainless steel from the heat exchange into the fish tank now I'll put that stainless steel and I shall put uh, insulation around it to keep it warm so at the moment it's all going well if you watch that top hose you can see that it's pumping which means it's pumping that fuel or that heat through and into the tank 
So let me see if we can see that. Okay. Let's see if we see the water coming out. Yeah, there we go. So you can see the heat entering the tank pretty good. So we're pushing hot water into the tank well. Um, tank temperature we started was 11 point 11 I think it was 11.2 around there I'd have to go back and check um, temperature at the moment is we've just started putting hot water in so up to 11 point what does that say 11.7 so we'll give that an hour and we'll come back and we'll see how much how much um, temperature we've got in this tank in an hour okay water temperature coming out of the pipe into the tank is 39 point 8 does go up to 40 so 106 coming out of the pipe into the fish tank um, fish tank temperatures is okay we have 30 near the 33 near the source where it's coming out back of the tank we're now up to 17 side of the tank is slightly cooler so I would call that a success it's heating the fish tank quite well the fish tank temperature is coming up which is good um, temperature of the hose just here is around 22 27 32 it is quite warm to touch um, once I put the stainless steel pipe to the fish tank um, I'll get a lot better results out of it uh, 30 534 coming out of there the heat exchanger at the moment is 100 it stays around about 100 in there firebox temperature I'm getting around uh, 390 average is about 390 so that's pretty good so I'd call that a success that's a pretty good um, heater for during the night to keep my fish tank warm I'm pretty happy with that um, yeah I would recommend it and um, like I said I'm happy with it works well the wood feeder feeds the wood down pretty good have no problems with it like I said, the water is heating up in the fish tank. So, all i got to do now is change that top pipe to a stainless steel insulated. And I'll get a pretty significant heat rise. I won't get all that heat loss coming in that pipe. Um, that should keep my fish tank warm during the night. Um, the other night we had minus two. Um, which my jade perch didn't like and I lost um, all of them so this was sort of a few days too late to get up and running for them but as you can see there's 39.6 coming out of that pipe into the fish tank which is a pretty good flow of warm water coming in once I connected to the system and got cold water coming in um, it's not going to get over or, or too hot it will stay at a 
reasonable temperature once I adjust everything with the valves and that um, for during the night. So I should call that a pretty good success in a rocket water heater for heating a fish tank. Um, and it's not using much wood at all to do it so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, any comments, suggestions, questions on this rocket heater for hitting the fish tank, leave it down in the comment section. If you like what I'm doing and would like to subscribe, smash that subscribe button and hit that bell. And YouTube will let you know when I am um, uploading another video. Now my next video will be a full update on the full aquaponics system, solar power and all the little bits and pieces that I've got going on here. So folks, I hope everyone is having a very good day and stay safe and I shall catch you next video. Bye. Okay, this is the test run of the rocket heater. Welcome everybody. Um, We'll start off by looking at the temperature and I'll play the video to show you how everything's going. That's the temperature of the water coming out of my pipe into the fish tank at the moment. Um, I've got the other pipe turned off with the cold water to come in. Um, so I shall fix all that up later. Uh, any questions, suggestions, put them down in the comments as we're going through. And any... One who hasn't subscribed and would like to subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell and YouTube will let you know when I am uploading a new video. My next video after this will be a full rundown of my aquaponics system, my solar panels, my heating and everything to do with my aquaponics. Okay folks, so let's get started. <laughs> 